Go Nine Jeromes. So we true blue Minnesota Fighting Vikings fans knew that slinging Sammy Darnold could do the damn job. Like he's brought in to be the bridge quarterback uh, for J.J. McCarthy. And everyone in the mom was thinking, oh, if McCarthy hadn't gotten hurt, he would have been the week one starter. Now. It was always going to be slinging Sam Darnold, a.k.a. America's quarterback, uh, leading the Vikings to start the 2024 season. Now, was he going to hang on to the job? Remains to be seen. But it's safe to say that Sam Darnold has been cooking. Absolutely cooking. Three-star Michelin haute cuisine. And it's just been fantastic. Glorious. Sunday, uh, leading the Vikings to a 3-0 and start. Uh, Sam Darnold, 17-28 passing, 181 passing yards. Passing, passing numbers are down around the league. It's kind of crazy. It's almost like the Brian Flores effect. Teams are playing defense now. Uh, abolish the two deep safety. It's so stupid. Uh, four touchdowns, uh, tying career high, as well as a one, 119.2 pass rating, which is which is good. Which is really damn good. Uh, and also, he's leading the NFL in touchdowns through three games, uh, unless Kurt Cousins throws 10 touchdowns tonight, which, yeah, <laughs> certainly capable of doing that. But now, now the media who made fun of the Vikings – Right, you could pull a clip from basically every single major news outlet. Uh, those like, oh, Sam Darnold's a bust. Oh, what are the Vikings doing? Oh, the Vikings uh, are uh, just another retread veteran quarterback. Oh, uh, commitment to mediocrity. Blah 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 blah. But don't like to toot my own horn, meep meep. But if you followed the channel for a while, you said everything, everything we said all off season that Sam Darnold has the tools. Right, the pride of USC, na, 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 na. fighting on through some bad teams, but now in a great spot, great coaching, great offensive line, great running game, great uh, weapons, great defense across from him. Right, and if he can't succeed here, he can't succeed anywhere. But he is succeeding. He is so far. Returns are looking really damn good, and now it's like you, you do have to wonder: Is Darnold in the MVP conversation? Because now the media has the groundswell. And for one of the reasons why we call Sam Darnold America's quarterback, because his story is such an American story. Because in this country, we love building people up. Him at USC, number three overall pick in the 2018 draft. And then we love tearing people down. It's time with the Jets and the Panthers. And then we love a comeback story. Redemption story arc. And that's him with the Vikings right now. So I, I don't think it's outlandish. I don't think it's the craziest thing in the world because you look at the usual MVP candidates. Uh, Mahomes, well, depends what he does tonight, but sort of, eh. Lamar Jackson's been, eh. Josh Allen's been looking really damn good. Don't get me wrong. And also, the other you know, former bust upstarts, Baker and, and Derek Carr, they had themselves sort of an ass thank you day on Sunday. Uh, and Darnold it really is starting to separate himself. RG3. Sam Darnold in a stable environment with weapons is a damn good quarterback. That's all he said. All offseason, man. Uh, leads the NFL in passing touchdowns and the Vi- and has the Vikings 3-0. Just further proof that more coaches and organizations in the NFL know how to mess up a quarterback than how to develop one. Fair. It's fair. Also, you, you look at what Justin Fields is doing with the Steelers now, and you're just like, huh. Crazy. Hmm. Uh, yeah, but definitely Darnold is the, 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 the one-one prototype of, hey, there is a nature versus nurture element to this. And now he's finally in a great environment here with the Vikings, and he's getting things done, and he's gathering his flowers like Ryan Clark. By the way, Sam Darnold is the MVP favorite, not candidate, favorite. Like Ryan Clark knows ball, too. Uh, the Minnesota Vikings are the best team in ball. <laughs> uh, just what you expect ahead into week four. Tony Dungy, the last good Gophers quarterback. A big wins for the Eagles, Packers, and Steelers. Whatever. Uh, but maybe the most impressive team today was the Minnesota Vikings. Kevin O'Connell is doing a great job with cornerback Sam Darnold, and Brian Flores' D uh, shut down the Texans' offense all day. Minnesota is 3-0 and and looking strong. All right, but also, maybe that's a little bit of Tony Dungy, Colts coaching legend, just like, hey, Texans, you suck. Yeah, probably not. Do you, do you think Tony Dungy has ever said the word suck? Probably not. Uh, unless it's like... Um, so I'm going to do like, oh, we're hanging the Christmas decorations. We're using sh- suction cups. Feliz Navidad. Uh, then NFL and CBS. He has been lit up since he's been in the league. He's had everything said about him, and now he's leading his 3-0 team and playing some great football. Nate Burleson, our guy, man. Uh, the pride of Nevada. Go Wolfpack. Had high praise for Sam Darnold. Yes. And Darnold, of course, like we said, leading the, the league in touchdown passes. Also, I, I, I got problems with this graphic. He, he he looks like a pug nose Sean Astin, Mr. Frodo. 
Nah. Uh, but Darnold this season, he's been divine. You know, completing 68% of his passes, almost nice. 657 yards passing, 8.8 yards per attempt, eight touchdowns, two picks. One pick not on him. The second pick was definitely on him. It happens, man. Uh, also, so Houston did wrap up the sackage, but, I mean, he's been cleanish through the first three games. Uh, 117.3 quarterback rating and a 73.4 QBR out of a score of 100. So he's everything that we wanted uh, for a, a quarterback. And also, I mean, Kevin O'Connell – just getting guys in the system, whether it's Kurt Cousins having two great seasons, Mullins throwing for an average of 400 yards uh, during his three starts, Pash not getting up to speed. I mean, I, I, I trust it. And with Darnold, so every single week that goes by, I, I feel like the chances of him returning next season go up because I, I doubt it will be the franchise tag, even though the Vikings have the cap space to weather that. But could you see a short-term extension? Like a, a two-year deal that's basically a one-year deal, maybe some void years to, to fetter out some of that cap it. I mean, it's it's possible because think about it. Like at the end of the day, you just want a, a good quarterback. And Sam Darnold's only 27, all right? And maybe it's a spot where Darnold plays so damn good that he has to remain a Viking for the next couple of years. Like what do you do? Like say Sam Darnold, outside chance. Right, because there's a lot of name brand recognition when it comes to MVP. But w- what if Sam Darnold wins the MVP or finishes top three in the voting? Like, say it's Mahomes, Josh Allen, and Sam Darnold, and he is a Pro Bowler. He's a borderline All Pro, and he leads the Vikings to a division title and a playoff run, maybe even a Super Bowl. Like, what do you do? Like, you got exactly what you're wanting, but I understand J.J. McCarthy is the future, but Sam Darnold could be it now. I mean, J.J. McCarthy's only 21, so I don't know. It's a good – we said offseason. Darnold balling out and forcing the Vikings to make a decision this offseason was the best possible outcome, and we're, we're seeing that right now. Because you know why? Because Sam Darnold is America's quarterback. That's right, baby. Guts, glory, Sam Darnold. Uh, anyways, your thoughts are thoughts. Darnold mania uh, is fully uh, upon us because I mean, just look at this thing. This goes. Let's know your thoughts. Our thoughts. Comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value. <laughs>